Hi, I'm Peter Exxon. Please join me to meet Inika Hans and her design team here at her studio. And let's find out about her thinking on design and beyond. Hello. Hello. Here we are at the Inika Hans studio in Arnhem. Why did you just became interested in design and working with design? I have a little bit of a feeling that what I want to do has to make sense. And uh, although I think art makes a lot of sense, at that time I felt it was a bit too vague for me. And I really like to think about people and behavior of people. And I think design and furniture and projects, the project we deal with are very much into that kind of area. And uh, it's more applied. And mm -hmm. uh, somehow that attracted me more in the end. So that's how I ended up in design. There is a say that uh Design should be the answer to problems, yeah. uh, but art should be the one who asks the big questions, the big questions of mm. life. I also think that design should ask questions and uh, is able to ask questions. Uh, so I think design is always communicating, is always uh, talking, at least design has to communicate already what it is, what can you do with it, so that's why it needs to communicate. Good design is not only functionality, it's not only the hardcore stuff, it's, uh, you can, it's made of the right material, it's made of the good, it does the good function, but the really nice and good design, there's also some kind of poetry involved. Even leave you somehow in the air with why do I like this, but you feel it's right. Starting off, how do you approach a problem? Well, I think we very often look at the gaps in the situation. We look at the, at the materials and the techniques. We look at the behavior of people. We look at how things are meant to be and go different. And there's very often already a, a, an answer. I'm looking for where you can twist things and where you can, uh, where the world has maybe already twisted and the world of products hasn't dealt with it already. How do you know that you are onto something? When you get excited in your stomach. <laughs> That's the answer. When you think, Tell me more about that. <laughs> yeah, where you think, you know, sometimes you, you like now we're also making some models and um, we are starting somewhere where you still think, ah, yeah, it's maybe very close to to what we already know, but by twisting and squeezing and, you know, playing with this model and, and just do solve things slightly different, suddenly there's a, something coming up where you think, hey, but now we are onto something and it's getting exciting. I've never seen this before, I've never felt this before, the combinations are interesting. How do you find new challenges? Well. They are already coming up because you move on in time or because the world around you is changing and that's why there is already a lot of uh, answers in the world around you. Of course I have funny preferences, like I like to do uh, uh, to undress things and make it and, and make it clear and, and uh, almost childish looking, but not childish looking, but more you know, clear, clean, uh, to the point, uh, down to earth. It's just because it's me. I can't do it in a different way. I can't put a lot of tralala on. Find out what you are about. And that sounds as if you have to go to the shrink, but it's, all, it's more about staying very close to your heart. You, by nature, you know when things are your world or not. And the trick is, uh, in the end, not about your image, it's about what you do and about the things you make and the things that come from you and from your roots. And uh, so it's more important to do and to make and to design. You shouldn't try to be someone else, you just have to be who you are, you know, and I can't help it that I'm, I'm not able to speak in certain slick ways. I didn't build a, a brand uh, around myself, but it grows, maybe. 
that can narrow things down, but it can also start to look too um, rigid, too rational, and so on. And in the end, you need to get the feeling, the poetry involved as well. So it's a thin line, and that line that you walk and that balance that you try to find is about get being rational and making sense and ending up with something that you, that slips out of your hand because you can't rationalize it anymore. Uh, mm. I think it's also about playing ping pong. You go ching, ching, and you zoom in and you zoom out. You, you look into the details and then you think, hang on, what am I doing here? So that you ping pong on different fields. So that you do, we do interiors, we do furniture, we do small projects and they all have different um, time scales. The trick is to find the right, uh, the appropriate result for the right techniques and for the right area that you're working in. And this ping-ponging I like a lot as well. And I think that the world of interiors can feed the world of an egg cup. Mm -hmm.